Hi, I'm Mark Blundell. I've done 61 Grand Prix, been on the podium three times, I've won Le Mans, I've won three IndyCar races, but this weekend is my first race with the British Touring Car Championship. I've been watching it for years and years. You know, I always had a huge amount of respect for all the guys. I've got even more for them because it, it is a lot more difficult than what people think. Everything I've learned for 30 years, you might as well put it in a bag and throw it away because it's very different. Uh, track is just greasy jazz. There's no uh, dry patches apart from the bottom of Paddock Hill Bend. How was that then? First session? <laughs> as you can see in the timesheets, it wasn't good. Um, no, uh, we've, uh, we've got a big issue from where we left testing and brands. We just ran out of fun on day one. It's all got serious, all of a sudden. Are you stressed? No, I'm not stressed, I'm enjoying it. It's nervous energy. But, um, Is this where you lose No, listen, I always knew it was going to be a challenge. I knew that from day one. Uh, but I'm up for the challenge. A little bit of drop up on an understeer at the moment. It doesn't feel like it's worth the Marco, no. Okay, so if you did a 48.8, you would have been P18. We didn't even get a lap together. Exactly. I mean, it was I mean, every horrendous. Lap, every lap you've had. First qualifying session, uh, honestly, I found it incredibly difficult. Uh, it was tough, conditions were very tough. But of course, it's the same for everyone. And that is Mark Blundell into the travel. Sorry, guys, I overcooked it going at the Druids. Just frustrating because it just felt like there was going to be another chunk of time. <laughs> but it helps if you stay on the track. I went into Druids, got on the brakes and just locked up the fronts. Um, I'm talking probably two metres would have made the difference for me to stay on circuit. But I don't have the experience to understand that I should have pulled back a little bit more and, you know, that's what's caught me out. Hi mate, I see you more than mate. If I said to you it's probably the biggest challenge of my motorsport career, I would not be lying. And I mean that honestly, it is an incredibly different beast to what I'm used to. And I'm humbled by it, I really am. The support is fantastic. All I would like to do is go and deliver something where it's justifying that. And as I say, I will give it my best shot. You know me, you guys know me, you know, I I'm gonna hang it out. If I have to get my elbows out, we'll do it, not a problem. We like you, Mark. <laughs> You're gonna be awesome. You can stay. <laughs> I'm excited, a little bit apprehensive, but you know, those nerves are quite nice. If we can turn those from negative into positive, hopefully at the end of the race, we'll come with a result. How's Mark Blundell getting on? He's on the slicks, he's 24th and he's making a little bit of progress. Mark Blundell up into 12th place. Not a bad debut. It was so good to be back in a race car again and uh, mixing it up. It's real rough and tumble. I mean, it's a couple of times I'm there and I'm like, tap, tap. So it felt like I'd been in a boxing ring, yeah? I was a little uppercut, little jab, I'm like, okay. I think we gave a couple back, but I must improve on that. Blundell is slipping down the order and a frustrating 27th. First race full of excitement. Second race was trying to understand how to manage the soft tyre, that option tyre that everybody has to run, and I didn't manage it very well. <laughs> it's experience, and that's what I'm here for. I'm learning every race, and every lap puts in that data bank a bit more experience, so we'll see. Last race of the day. And Blundell comes across the line in 19th to round out a decent opening weekend for the Le Mans winner. It has been a fantastic experience. I've had three races today, I've scored a couple of points. The last race, I have to say, was tough. But listen, I'm gonna make mistakes. I've got a huge amount to learn in this front wheel drive competitive series. But I think I've also got to go and get my elbows out. So I'm gonna go and do some homework and I'm ready for Donington.